Welcome back to goodcatholic.com's Ask a Priest. Does science disprove religion and is the Catholic Church in conflict with scientific fact? These questions are very important to me because this is part of my background. Uh, for those of you who don't know me, I was agnostic for the vast majority of my life. I was in my mid-twenties in the middle of a very successful business career when I began my conversion of going from agnostic, doubting God's existence, to becoming a spiritual person, to being open to the concept of religion, ultimately then to Christianity, then home to Catholicism. So, so that is a bit of my journey, and I always question how could God exist with all of the realities of science being true? So the question, does science disprove religion, uh, is actually very answerable. Uh, the answer to that is that it doesn't at all. But rather, what science does is science points to the need for an existing creator. All of the science that we have today is based on a causal system. One cause leads to another cause leads to another cause, right? Again, and there's all sorts of technical things we could get into with this. And it's very complex in terms of the science of many of these uh, um, systems that, that are in cause and effect. But what we realize is that there has to be a first cause. The, the easiest way to describe this is take the scientific probability of Big Bang cosmology. This is the most reliable theory of the creation of the universe that science has to offer, is that the world started off as a single atom in the state of singularity. And at a certain point that that singularity erupted, burst, we, we call it the Big Bang, and, and it expanded at such a specific mind-blowing rate, any faster it would have just fallen apart, ripped apart, and any slower it would have collapsed back on itself. The science behind this is so spectacular, it's so beautiful. But when you have a Big Bang, we have to ask the question, how did that Big Bang start? And uh, when this was first presented, the concept of Big Bang cosmology, it was first presented by a Catholic priest named Father George Lamonte. Albert Einstein mocked Father Lamonte, saying that this is just your way of trying to insert God into the scientific conversation. And Albert Einstein offered some theories that if the Big Bang did happen, here are all the proofs that would prove that it being true. And as the research has been done, obviously, this is the most reliable theory of creation that we have. And so we recognize that we live in a causal universe and there has to be a first cause. Aristotle talks about in order to have a causal universe that we live in, there has to be a first cause or an unmoved mover. Plato referred to... Uh, all creation coming from a universal form. All things have their form. So there's particular trees, but there's this universal concept of treeness. Those forms had to come into existence from an original source. And so we recognize that this universal essence, which we refer to as God. Now, is God the God of Christianity or a God of somewhere else? That's a discussion for another time. But the reality is, is that science, the causal universe we lives in, points to the necessity of a creator. So that's first and foremost, is that science does not disprove religion, but rather points to the reality and the need of it. The second part is, is the conflict between Catholicism and scientific fact. First and foremost, Catholicism is not at odds with science. Catholicism is rather the father of the scientific revolution. When you go back to the 1200s, you'll see that the scientific revolution was birthed out of the Catholic Church with St. Albert the Great and St. Thomas Aquinas. And we see in their efforts, in their studies, that they took the worldview, the Catholic worldview, that God made this world, and he made this world good, and he made mankind very good. And so by coming to know the creation, we can come to know the creator. And by spending time with the creator, we can come to know creation. So there's this great in and out, this breathing with both the lungs of our soul to come to know both faith and reason. We say in these discussions that being good at one will make you better at the other. The better we are at faith, the more we can understand reason. And the better we are at reason, the more we can understand our faith. You know, St. John Paul the Great talks about faith and reason are the two wings that elevate the soul to the height. The Catholic Church has always taught 
a, a society without reason, when you have faith alone, becomes a superstitious people. When you have no faith and reason alone, then you have the rejection of universal morality. You have the rejection of the notion of God and religion, and it ultimately leads to a society based on relativism. And so again, we do not see the Catholic Church in conflict with science, but rather we see science as a child of the Church. And again, the two have always worked together and always found complementarity. When you look at the great advancements in science, the Catholic Church has always been there, a member of it, leading the charge in one way or another. And so we have this great heritage and history of being part of the scientific answers and solutions to world problems. And so that's the first point. The second point that I want to bring up in terms of this conflict with scientific fact is that notion of, is it in fact a fact, right? Because we have a lot of people in our world today taking science and trying to use it as a club to say, we don't have to believe in this reality of God. Uh, and what they're trying to do is they're trying to pervert science for the sake of advancing a political ideology or an agenda. So this notion of trying to promote a political ideology or an agenda is an abuse of science. And a lot of these people who want to promote something forward that says, well, my study says this, therefore your God can't exist, or my study says this, therefore we can reject all of your morality. Again, we're going to need a little more information, and we need to put this through its full paces. So many times people just want to come out and say, oh, I have this new study, and I don't have to believe what the church teaches. Um, it, it doesn't work that way, right? If we want to make a life decision like that, let's have that discussion. Let's get into these things, right? You know, so many people in the world today want to reject historical, natural, sexual morality and embrace a whole different worldview on do what you want, when you want, however you want. Again, when people bring these questions up to me, I, I say, listen, I can take my collar off and argue why uh, a, a free love society doesn't work. Because one, it's been tried and always proves a fail, but also based on the science of the uh, give and take of the, hu the hormonal na nature of the human person. Again, when we know the human physiology, we can see how human physiology and biochemical exchange and emotional intimacy and exchange all support the Catholic notion of our moralities. So again, these are just simple examples without going into too much detail. How the Catholic Church has always been in, in relationship with science, not in conflict with science. And that if you ever find there is a conflict between our faith and science, we have to dig a little deeper, and we have to see if there is an agenda or a political ideology that is trying to be advanced. I hope you've enjoyed our time together. There's so much more that we can say about this. If you want to learn more, check out my new series with goodcatholic.com entitled, We Believe. This is a series I just got done shooting with goodcatholic.com, and uh, we go through 30 different topics of faith and reason, of apologetics, of faith and devotion, so many different learning opportunities to come to know. Oh yeah, like, subscribe, send this to your friends, share this, all that good stuff. I hope you enjoy it, and we'll see you next time. I hope God blesses you abundantly. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.